accept them, and what that means, um, what that means to me is it's great news. It means that there's a lot of demand for speaking on this issue, and there really is. High schools, universities, churches, even synagogues, um, mosques, um, bookstores, libraries, um, senior centers, everywhere. People are asking to get this information. It's, there's this huge opening, and yet there are not, seemingly not enough people who, um, who feel confident about uh, talking about it, or who are out there enough that people know where they are. So um, as people come back from Palestine, and one way of getting involved, of course, you have the option is to go to Palestine and witness for yourself. Um, people who come back from delegations where they where they live with the same Palestinians and saw their lives um, come back and are kind of uh, excited and want to do something but don't know how to speak uh, speak in public. And I personally was afraid of speaking publicly, and I learned that I was able to do it. So I want to help empower and train people who come back to be able to speak about their experiences. So I've been giving trainings to people to become effective speakers on this issue so that I don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> so, because it's exhausting. Yes, let's, uh, let's be the last question. I know prayers are coming up, and I also would like to have time out there. Some people would prefer to ask questions um, in private as well. So, yes, sir. So the response is mixed from my um, community, my uh, parents. My father was pretty sympathetic from the beginning, although he didn't like the idea, he kind of understood. Um, my mother, on the other hand, was like, what, what has happened to my daughter? Who is this person? Um, what have they told her? Um, but she was amazing enough as a mother that she respected that this is what I wanted to do and let me do it, go over to Palestine. As soon as she began to read what I was writing, it was very clear. I mean, she was able to understand simply by the realities on the ground that I was writing about. So I'm very lucky in that respect. Um, I do have people in my family that don't talk to me, um, that certainly would never come see me speak. I also have people in my family, uh, I have a great uncle who was involved in the Belgian resistance, and he is probably the biggest supporter of my work in the whole family. Um, so it's kind of all over, um, and um, uh, I, in general, I'm very lucky. I know people who've been disinherited and suffered a lot more than I have uh, in, as, as Jewish people. And by the way, I have never felt more connected to my Judaism. I've, I've been so many Jewish people I've met working on this issue, and, and that root of social justice, I feel like I'm finally able to connect with in a meaningful way. So, so it's also fulfilling for me as spiritually. Thank you very much, and I'll talk more to people um, outside.